San Francisco is well known for its rich history and famous landmarks, such as the Golden Gate Bridge, Alcatraz Island, and Lombard Street. The city is also known for its diverse, cosmopolitan population, architecture, and neighborhoods. In the 1990s, San Francisco's high concentration of poverty led to one of the nation's worst cases of a digital divide, as evidenced by various studies on Internet access conducted by the Bay Area Council. In 2002, one economy set up an office in San Francisco to begin to connect the Bay Area's low-income communities with high-speed Internet access and the online resources necessary to bridge this divide. One of the biggest reasons why we work in this type of communities is because we like people to really understand how to adopt technology and the use of technology so they can change the way they live. And it's a challenge for us because at the end of the day, a lot of communities really don't feel that technology can help them get to that particular level. So we're trying to make sure that they understand how to use technology, how to apply for a job online, how to communicate with relatives across the country or even overseas. So technology it should be a very important tool for them. The main reason why One Economy works with affordable housing in California is to, ensure, to make sure that low-income families have access to the Internet at their fingertips. And we do that by different ways. We do that by wiring an entire property like this one. It's called Carter Terrace. This property is about a year old. It has about 101 units. We have worked here in this property providing technology support. We have access to a computer lab, the digital connectors, use as a center to teach people how to use the Beehive, how to use Cipro, which is another website that we have. But at the end of the day, it's really having people come in and learn how to use technology. Uh, another way that we have provided support to this property is by refurbishing computers and giving computers away to families that come for training. One of the things that we're going to do this year perhaps is um, this particular group, once they finish their training, they're going to go back into the community and provide computer workshops to the families here. Do you want to speak a little bit about yeah, that? We already started with the surveys, so we created a, about a three-page survey and the connectors went into the facility here at Carter Terrace last week and started passing some of the surveys out. So we hope to get those back from the tenants to find out, you know, what kind of workshops do they want? You know, do they want to learn about Microsoft Office? Do they want to learn about the Beehive and Zipro? So we have, we, we're trying to get a better knowledge of what they want, you know, so we can provide, provide them with that. So if they come here to the workshops, we'll provide them with a refurbished computer, correct? Mm -hmm. So they have to uh, attend and finish the, the workshop, you know, and just bringing the, the whole Carter Terrace community together. You know, so we want to start here and then eventually get out into the, the Visitation Valley community as well. Another thing that One Economy is doing this year is also in regards of um, thanks to the AT&T Access All grant, we're going to be able to choose some families that will be able to receive also our AT&T free DSL lines. And the digital connectors are going to be able to help us identify those families in the community that might need those type of services. Uh, one of the families that are going to be interviewed later on has received a DSL line. And the goal for us is to identify what they do with that DSL line once they get it. Do they use it for college, especially the kids? Do the parents use it to find better jobs or to stay updated with technology? And that's one of the things that we do in regards of um, the Access All Grant. Um, it's, it's actually essential. It helps them um, basically keep up with the rest of the world. I mean, in order to do the job that you want to do, you know, get the job that you want to get, go to school and be able to keep up with your classmates, you need access to computer. And with the digital connectors coming in and helping get the computer lab together, going, you know, unit to unit for all the residents and helping them get computer literate, you know, it's like being able to enter society, you know, like the playing field is getting closer to level. Not exactly level, but this is a huge start, so I'm so glad that they're here. Yeah, well it's just, you know, seeing the kids really get enthusiastic and excited and begin to understand. At first it's like it's cool because it's, it's technology, but you see them get a sense of beyond cool, how this really helps them get the community that they want or that they've dreamed of. So it's like a dream maker. I like it. <laughs>